any second. There it is. It's been live right, Okay. Are we all right to record in case I put it on YouTube? Yeah, all right. Yeah, no worries Cheers, at all. Bump. Yeah, it's, I'm not an employed member of staff. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a volunteer. Right. So. <laughs> okay, all right. Three, two, one. And we're live. Okay. Progress. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Eagles Chat, the last one of a week of whole Eagles Chat. I'm knackered. I've had enough of chatting about I've, well, I can't say I've had enough because I always love talking about Chef Eagles. But uh, we are joined by the media man himself, one of the stalwarts. He's kept everybody, the, the king of Twitter, as I call him, the king of Twitter, the king of social media, because anything happens on a pitch during the 90 minutes of Sheffield Eagles, Dan will put it on Twitter without a shadow of a doubt and within seconds. So he is the king of Twitter as far as I'm concerned. Good evening, Mr. Fowler. You all right? Yeah, not too bad. It sounds like Twitch anyway, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, all good. I, I do try my best, but yeah, it's uh, it's been just another week, hasn't it? Just yeah, another week. Yeah, just, just another week. Just, just another week in the out. chat. Just as the one thing in the base, we talked about this book that should be written after 2000 with all the Eagles till now. This is just that for that. This is just, just another week chapter. Just it's this another week chapter. Do, I think you get a thousand, you get, you get 2,000 words out of, out of this week. But yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, but how many could we repeat though? I mean, <laughs> no, it's, exactly. It, yeah. If you get some insiders from Tubbs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So evening, Mark. Mark Webster's watching. Evening, pal. You're all right. No, uh, but yeah, but, it's uh, just. I mean, we call supposedly got no fans. Our fans call <laughs> call themselves the taxi army, the army. And, we, and this club has been telling fans not to buy any tickets because we can't sell any. It's, it's like I'm living in an alternate universe, yeah. I think. It's just... I was, I, I had to tell my family because my brothers and my godsons and everything, they were coming down because they were interested because it's a new stadium. And it was, it's, course, yeah. that's what did. And I said to him, I says, it's only a 10. I mean, you get a free drink. And he goes, ooh, ooh hold on a minute. There you are. He says, what? And it's the new stadium. I says, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, I might take it up. And then I had to ring him yesterday and just say, no, you can't. Because what? I says, they've had to, a uh, safety group have just said, put a limit on it. He went, how many? I says, 800. He went, so I bet you're happy. I went, oh, yeah, mate, I'm ecstatic. I said, can you imagine what he goes? And me mate, and my brother, younger brother's known to be long, long as me. And he just went, Oh, I bet he's going mental. I went, mm, yeah, just a bit. Uh, I bet he's been the Tasmanian devil for a couple of days. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds oh. like that anyway, I think. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I hope he's not watching. <sighs> but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, it's just it's just been bad. Like I said to you, uh, I spoke to both Mark Hannigan and Tubbs today, and it's like the first day that they've not sounded like they're going to break down in tears on the phone because... <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just been it's been tough, and obviously we were speaking before and before we went live about the witness fans, and yeah, yeah, coming in coming into this game off the back of a big win as well, they'd been willing willing to come down, and like you've said from the from from what they've been saying on Facebook and Twitter, they've been wanting to travel down and stuff, and yeah, and but it's it's disappointing for them, but it's also disappointing for us because at the end of the day, it's us that's missing out on the money, so yeah. Can you imagine if it had been late and we had to tell Derek Beaumont they would only yeah, be back? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Every cloud is a silver lining. To be fair, I feel I don't know. I don't know how many how many we took to Batley because I was there on Monday and yeah. I'm now banned from many many Batley games coming forward because I've been to two this year and they lost both. So oh. <laughs> admittedly, Fev and Bat uh, Fev and Lee, but uh, oh. but Lee they did they did bring that many. I'm coming from yeah. an Eagles fan. It's going to sound really strange. Yeah. But, it's yeah. right because your missus is a Batley fan, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Martin Martin Riley were on the bench. Obviously, he played for us this season, yeah. and I'm there with my Eagles jacket on. And he looked at me, and he went, and he just looked really, really confused. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. I don't know how I've ended up here either. But yeah, it's here. yeah. Um, Michael White has just put up a great one. Why is it? I mean, I said this week we'll do a daily episode of Eagles chat yeah. to celebrate. It. And there's been so much happening on a daily basis. And today, the Jewel Reg announcement of yeah, Wakefield Trinity. Of yeah. So I'm I'm sorry to everybody. I apologize to Mark. I apologize to the office. I'll apologize to every fan in the world because I feel as though the curse of the Eagles chat has happened again. <laughs> because we did it last year because every fan, every player we had on from the first team last year got injured as soon as they'd been on the show. So it's I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll yeah. never do it again. And the one and the one you were sponsoring's left as well. 
So. Yeah, I guess, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, like, tree, it? yeah so. I'm like, what? I, 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 says, I just said to Mark the other day, I says, I'm stopping this. I says, I'm stopping. I says, all these bad things are happening. He goes, no, don't you dare, don't you dare. And I said, no, I said, I can't, I can't. I'm I not said, sure. everything's happening. Not sure if that's a sign that he'd rather chuck himself into a fire than play for us, but you know. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I mean, I'm heartbroke. I was just, when I saw it that Liam had left, I was he's like, top oh, man as well. No he's, yeah, he wish him all the best because, yeah, he's a real, real, all of them are. Yeah. I, I can count on, on one hand the amount of people that have been at the club that haven't really wanted to do an interview or, or said that they wanted, didn't want to do an interview. There's not many at all because they're all really nice lads and just down to work because obviously they they're only like us, aren't they? They, they yeah. work they work Monday to Friday and then but just just chuck around a odd shaped ball at the yeah. weekend. So yeah, absolutely, yeah. Un, absolutely correct. It's uh, they are a great bunch of lads. How has it been for nine? I mean, how long have you been doing the media job? Is it nine yeah, years? Yeah, so I started. I wrote. I was writing for the program in 2014 when James Whaling left because I think he got a job at Daily Mirror or something like that. Oh yeah, posh pill, so, posh pill. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I I did that, and yeah, I was doing some stuff on the side with um, a few different websites. Serious about rugby league, love rugby league as well back then, yeah. and nothing but league in Australia. So. Um, but yeah, so and that was mainly to do with championship. But from then on, 2015 was my last year down here in Yorkshire before going up to Sunderland. So I, that's when I started doing the tweets and stuff, mm-hmm. and that were a great year. But I missed the qualifiers. So well, I missed all of it. So yeah, the the Wakefield game at Bramall Lane were obviously an highlight for everyone and. That's the sort of atmosphere we'd be wanting down at Leo LP. So, yeah, so in answer to your question, a long way around, about eight years now, seven years on, because I've been on and off with volunteering, you know, when I were up at uni because I couldn't get to every match. But, um, but yeah, I've always, I'm not, I've not left. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been, I've been doing previews or interviews here, there and everywhere. Yeah. But, yeah, it's uh, it's been a good ride. It's been an enjoyable one. Not yeah. a, Wembley's just priceless. I don't think anything can ever top that. So yeah, it's, no, yeah, no. Brilliant. I think my favorite memory of Wembley is I took a picture and I remember doing it. And I and I swear to this day I did not see behind me. I didn't look behind me, and I just took my. I'm not very good at selfies either, so I just took this picture and I went, I'm in. And I just put this picture and I put it, and then everybody went. Dino, did you look behind you? And I went, no. And it was all the cheerleaders that were stood there with all the oh, yeah. skimpy outfits. And I went, oh, if my wife sees that, I'm dead. Oh, my God, I'm dead. But that's one of my favourite memories of Wembley. Probably yeah. getting concussed as well, diving over the boards course, and didn't realise yeah, it, con- it was concrete. But yeah. uh, Michael yeah. White has asked me a cracker, though. Dan, as you were behind the scenes, and so you see the players more than us, yes. who has impressed you the most this season? For me, it's Halafihi. Yeah, Vila's been brilliant. I mean, I don't know if he would have been expecting to play 80 minutes every game. Because obviously we had James <laughs> Davey at the start yeah. of the season. So and he, he he left after a few weeks, obviously retiring. So yeah, Vila's a Vila's a top shout because yeah, he's, he's been he's been great. I'm trying to think to be fair, because I mean Mikey Wood's been all right up until getting his green yeah. charge, which is gonna be hard for about a month and a half, more than likely. So but well, yeah, Alex said, Alex did say to me that he didn't miss. So that's yeah. uh but that yeah, that last <laughs> week can just be forgotten about really. We were yeah. just I think we just yeah, it, like the the fitness of the lads shone through really against Lee because mm. we played them and played really well for the last two weeks. Mm. Uh, the Halifax game just got away from us, really. But yeah, in answer to the question, Vila, Vila's probably going to be my top pick as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they've, they've all they've all done yeah. really well, though. To be fair, when they played, so yeah, it's it. Be, uh, Kadeem impressed me. To be fair, in the last twenty minutes against Halifax, he came on and he had a he had a good spell. So yeah, it's yeah. Um, they, yeah. he's done well as Tubbs. He's yeah. done well. Uh, Simon Travis is just a crack out of the Wakefield team. Who would you like to see wearing Eagles top? Tom Johnson, that's mine. Tom Johnson, well, he's going to Catalan. He's, he's signed for Catalan next year. Yeah, so like, they're, they're having a, they're, they've got quite a few leaving. I think I think like Jake and Miller and James Bachelor are leaving as well. So they're oh, yeah. gonna they're gonna they've got a, a mm. room off salary cap, I guess. But yeah, 
Mm. Uh, in answer to the question, I mean, obviously everyone would love to see Eddie back or Corey. Or yeah, Tash has just said that. Yeah, they're both playing every week, so more than likely they won't. But <laughs> yeah, like I said, they've got they've got a few youngsters knocking about. I mean, they've got one at Barrow. Barrow Barrow have played. Uh, he's called Sam Essie, I think he's called E S E H. I think his surname is. Mm. But he's played every week. And I don't know if it will, I don't know if we'll be able to get him, but. but yeah. He's been he's been really good. At, yeah. Like loads are offloads, but he's played every week. I think for Barra, so they're probably not going to upset the apple cart and no. bring him here. I think. Good. <laughs> I think the funniest one I've ever was when the dual veg is when we got Matty Smith from St. Helens, and everybody just went, "We got yeah, no Matty would. Smith. What the heck?" Yeah, and he he, he, he didn't want to play. I don't really know this <laughs> he guy, was yeah. like, "What am I doing um, he, one he game. one game, and I think Tubbs Tubbs. New, but he's probably yeah. Let's not let, let's not go along. Let's just stick to young oh. lads. So although yeah. Adam Swift played really well for us on a number of occasions, and he weren't particularly young back then. So, yeah. but yeah, it's, um, so we, a, we had a few. Yeah, who's been who's the joker of the pack this year? We got a joker of the uh, team this year. QLT, say hundred percent. I mean, I don't, I don't go on the coach with. I only go on the coach with them. You know, to like away games to. Yeah. Very, very away games, you know, like your Cumbrian teams and stuff, yeah. and hopefully London. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, QLT is just absolutely crackers. He really is. But he's like when I was speaking to Jason Bass the other week, he, I, I said to him that he, uh, about replacing QLT in the team. So QLT were having a, a few weeks off, I think, because obviously he's getting on. And he was saying, yeah, he's just, he's been brilliant with me, even though he just talks a load of shit a lot, a lot of time. So, and I was going to put that, but we're going to put redacted in. But Len, Len, I said to Jason, do you want me to put that on? And he's like, no, just call him a wind-up merchant because I don't want him to think he actually speaks a lot of shit because he doesn't. He, he, <laughs> he's very, uh, he's very um, good with yeah. his uh, feedback, let's say. And oh. yeah, he's, uh, but He's been brilliant for us. I mean, when, when he came back, I were a bit like, oh, like he is getting on, obviously. But yeah, yeah it's some, he's just three steps ahead of everyone else most of the time. So, yeah, he's been brilliant. So, and has he, put, has he, put, himself in a, well, so. has he put himself in an oxygen tank or something like that when Michael Jackson used to do and things like that? Because <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like, it just keeps going on forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's him and Missy are just like, I mean, Missy's 40 and he's still going for Doncaster. So, I mean, he's got a broken arm at the moment. Yeah. But did you see these guys that did the that did everything for us and all this, and then Menzi went on forever. So yeah. and then all of a sudden Menzi well, decided that that I was, was speaking to uh, they were they were having a chat while waiting for the coach one week, and Fax said about uh, because he knows Richard Horn, who was the Donny coach, and he yeah. and Richard Horn says that Missy's still the best player in the team, like and he's for, like forty <laughs> odd. He's just it's ridiculous. He, I only like, keep themselves going yeah. because I um. I mean, I'll go for a walk and I'm needing my asthma spray after 20 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll these lads do it week in, week out. It's ridiculous. Oh. All I remember is when, when I asked Tubby when, when this went in my 20s and Tubby was like monitoring all everybody, me, Jason, a few others, I had to, had to band other cells. And I said to him, I said, what do I have before my training sessions? And he goes, beans on toast. And I'm like, what? And he goes, beans on toast. Swear by it, beans on toast. And all of a sudden, me and Jason looked at each other and went, beans on toast, right? Yep. So we went, went out of the Eagles shop. When when I finished work at Eagles, went to the supermarket, and both of us bought six tins of Heinz baked beans each, and went, "Got to get the best stuff, Heinz baked beans." And then we told Toby, and he went, "Any type of beans, lads. It's just a little thing." We went, "Oh, but we thought you meant the best kind." And he went, "No, baked beans will be fine." I went, "You tie tie escape. Look at it." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But I always remember that beans. Toby going, "Oh yeah, beans and beans on toast." And I'm like, well, 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 times well. have changed, pasta and everything. Yeah, I don't game. think so. Yeah, I don't think Simon will have that on the uh, on the go to for Lennon. <laughs> but, yeah, um, but whatever, whatever he's been feeding them, it's been working because they've been re- they've been doing really well this season. It's been it's been good because they're all there for each other. Um, the the one that I remember is um, just before the Lee try when it it didn't seem like a try. It seemed like you were held up. Um, that came from. BJB knocking on him that deep in our own half, but everyone rushed to him and like patting him on the back, it's fine, it's all right. That's something that I think money can't buy really because that camaraderie of the team spirit, it goes a long way. Yeah. So obviously last week we're a bit of a it was a bit of a hit and miss. I mean, we played pretty well in the second half, but like it was just a bit too much to come back yeah. from. It's the way it yeah. goes. Halifax working with him. 
Which yeah, is it's always thing. a tough place to go. They've spent a bit of money as well, so... But yeah. like they've got a few missing as well. Obviously, Brad will be coming back pretty soon as well, Brad yeah. Knowles. And that's obviously one of the best forwards in the league, so they can look forward to that. So, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, sure been... look for, I'm sure he'd have been in the mix if um, yeah. if he were on the pitch when, when it were all kicking off. So yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I think the best thing we've had with, with Brad, with Knowles, is that like we sent a message to his dad, Paul Knowles, who yeah. always watched the show and everything like that. And then he just says, I've just told Brad, thank you very much from you guys, because you guys have always championed him. You've always been asking about yeah. him how he is. And he says, and Brad still says, he says, he says, he loves you guys to bets. He said, because you're <laughs> always, you're always nice to him. I'm like, everybody was nice to him, but it's say, nice yeah, when we're always somebody nice leaves it. But... Just the way, it, yeah, you yeah. see 110% every game, if not more. So, yeah, it's uh, it was, it's tough when, when people leave, when players leave, but it's, all, it's all, always for the best for, for mm. both of you. Yeah. Well, usually so, and yeah, it's just been unfortunate for him that he's so, had that injury. But yeah, so all the time you've done with the Eagles, all the away games, you've been to some grounds, you've been to some yeah rubbish tips, you've been to some super modern stadiums. What's the worst ground you've been to? Well, worst ground. I mean, I feel like I've been speaking out of turn mainly because we've played in so many temporary stadiums and stuff like that. Like it's just that, that I can't really say what's, what's the worst. I mean, you, you have places where you've got just your laptop on your knee, but like, we're, like I said, like OLP at temporary stands and stuff. I mean, I know, I know not many people like Whitehaven, but on a nice day and it's never usually nice, but on a nice day, it is pretty good up there. And they've got, I think that Saints game when they played like, I think they've got like 3,800 there. That's something that we'd love to have. Obviously, we're, we've got the 800. Just need the 3,000. Need to allow the extra 3,000 yeah, to come yeah. now. Please, are we up? Get us 3,900 <laughs> in. Yeah. I don't care when, just get it. I hope it's this year. But, man, I'm. Man. Like I, don't, say, I, don't yeah, know, I don't know what happened Mark first. Mark says all. Mark said all he all he knows. I think Mark Anigan. He was saying about phase one, phase two. Didn't even coming from me. I didn't realize there yeah. were phases. To be honest, I know there'll be like a start phase, a middle phase. You know, like to get you the stadium built, and then at the end having the. Yeah. But the the lack of time scales is that yeah, it's not it's not yeah. ideal. So. Phase one get a safe certificate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Like, like we were saying before we came on air, from a media point of view, it's just been, they got like the 18th man shirt with tubs and everything and we're doing the countdown. It's nothing nothing to do with Ross Oaks or Connor Bowers. I know four and yeah. three haven't gone on, but yeah. we don't really want to be like lighting the fire again yeah. and, and that people who can't get a ticket, yeah. obviously. It's a shame yeah. because I was looking forward to number 11 and then about a few days before <laughs> Liam leaves, I'm like, yeah. oh, you're what? And so I was looking forward to that. But uh, uh, anyway, we wish Liam nothing but the best on this show. It just so happens that we sponsored him and hey, we'll sponsor another one. Yeah, we I don't know. care it's who it is. Is it, we'll always sponsor people. Now. Always good to get one of, the, one of the Eagles women and also the... Uh, uh, the wheelchair as well because we were thinking for, well hopefully we'll still do it it's kind of a little scoop yeah. here but number one would be we'll have Guzzi and then we'll have the, one of the women's players the fullback yeah. for the women and uh, and yeah. number one of the wheelchair as well so just yeah. and having him sp- having it spaced out over the day so that'd be great and but yeah, like I say if, if we get that if we can get that sword we'll, yeah. we'll do it but it's just a case that yeah we don't want to fuel the fire because as much as we can't really link to tickets or anything, so it's not yeah. it's, it's not the not the best no. situation to be in. Has but... anybody uh, said scoreboard yet? Yeah, have we got a scoreboard yet? Yeah, I think... yeah. I think, I think Mark, <laughs> did, Mark did say we have got one, so that thing, fingers Does crossed. Does it involve chalk and a white ball? Everything will be set up, but it's just also I think like having like the little stalls and stuff, you know, like for for your merchandise and everything, everything going back to the club, like food and drink. It'd just be amazing because, we've, like I said, we never had that, have we? So it's something we could only dream of. And like, I think I think comment from one of the one a fan that I don't know, I don't know who they support, but they said that so many clubs more established than Sheffield, if they had to go through what we had in the last decade, they'd have gone to the wall. Yeah, and it's just it, it is kind of ridiculous what we've had to go through. But like the directors and everything, we've still managed to plow on. Obviously, we had the fundraiser as well when things did look a did look really dark and and we I can't remember how much we raised on Ernie Kiswire started yeah. it up and it was just it was in the thousands and it were, it were ridiculous how how much was raised 
not just from Eagles fans, but rugby league as a whole, because yeah, we've got to thank like to wake Fev, yeah, and Bradford, even the yeah. RFL for the dispensations yeah. across uh, along the way yeah. as well. So because the uh, people yeah. was like Zach and they were they went buckets at Bradford Bulls and they were yeah. saying what's there was all this for. And Liz has just said in the chat room over twenty thousand. That's, that's unreal. That's crazy. crazy. It's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. This is from a club that's got no fans. It? No it's a fans, taxi. Yeah, exactly. But it, yeah. and, but that's the thing, though. The people that were that would say, "Oh, we've got no fans," we're probably donating as well. So yeah. it's that just goes to show it's not. It, it, maybe on a match day things can get a bit fractious, but uh, apart from that. It's uh, we're, we're all in the sport together, yeah. aren't we? We all want to see. Yeah, it's I remember giving. I remember giving up a first team jersey. Remember that? I think it was Simon Baldwin or something like that from the nineties. But then <laughs> that name means that the needs of the many that way. Yeah, we just having it in a, having it in a wardrobe and just let it hang there. So, but uh, when it comes to Monday, have you got your spot sorted? I've not been down, so I'm, I'm gonna go. That's what I mean. I'm gonna go down <laughs> early doors to see just just to see what it's like, but. Like, just the last few days have really deflated me. Like, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's like, what what do you do? It's like, you can you can promote the game, but you're not promoting it for any tickets or anything. And it's yeah. just, it, yeah, it's, it, it is heartbreaking because, like, we, we could really, it's going to be our first game back, but it's kind of going to be a little bit tainted by the fact that we've not been able to maximise on, on its potential, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's... It, it's when you look when of all the trial, all the grounds we've been at, everywhere we've been since Don Valley got demolished, and then it's built. And then I think somebody put a picture on it uh, of the, I think it was Love Rugby League. They put it on yesterday. It was a picture of OLP Park. And it was the first time I've ever looked at it and gone, right, this is where Don Valley was. And I could actually picture Don yeah. Valley in the middle where the, and I could picture everything around it because I could see the Supertron track and the older workshop road, and I was working out where everything was, and it was the first time I've ever done that since Don Valley was demolished, and I'm looking at it going, look at the difference of it now, just look, I'm, I can't believe it, looking at it from that point, I was like, wow, this is, this is the start of something special, because it's like you said, I mean, a lot of people have said it, it's the first time in like, since Bawtry Road, that there's nothing around the pitch between us and, and, us and, the, and the pitch, there's yeah. no ground track, there's no dog track, there's no athletics track. There's no young jumps. It's just us and that. And poor, poor, poor old linesman's going to get it right, left and centre, isn't he? We're getting on yeah, side. Exactly. He? he makes a bad decision. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I put yeah. a bet on that. Your dad will be the, if your dad's there, your, he will be the first person to shout, get him on side. <laughs> I bet anything on it. If anybody wants to fit a fundraiser, that would be the one. I don't know if he's uh, well. I'm gonna say I don't know if he's mellowed in his old age after what no happened a couple chance. of years ago. I don't think so. Yeah. So no, I, re- but, yeah, I remember, I remember them uh, days. That, but... Remember them days with your dad, like yesterday. They were fantastic. I think one of the best ones we did with your dad coming back from Wakefield, and uh, we'd won again. And I said again, it was like the first division, and we're lo- and we're looking at each other, and we're like, there's something missing here. And he's like, what? And I says, there's something missing. He goes, what? I says, we're normally looking at the programme, looking at where we're going to pick the points from to keep to stay up from relegation. I says, and look, when we're in top six now, we're going for a premiership. And we all of us looked at each other and went, oh, yeah, we're normally looking at relegation, aren't we? And we bang, just like that. But we just fell about laughing. Uh, the Tarts Terrace is on the same spot as Block 5 was. Right. Oh, so where the t- terrace? I like that. That's the tarts great. Terrace. I, love I like that because yeah, I remember where the tarts. Ter- I remember where the tarts used to stand in Don Valley Stadium, and very much I remember them days. I um see, like you know <laughs> what you were saying about Don Valley and like how it how it was compared yeah. to what it is now. I just get so discombobulated. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm just like I'll have a look, and I'm like. Right, what we'll wear, and I just I can't picture it. I the really only way I can do it, it, it's like the only way I can do it really was that picture at Love Rugby League, the Love Rugby League thing, and that's the only picture I've ever known where I can visualize it, because then I've can I can put Don Valley Stadium above and like that and above it, and yeah. have the rail and the and if the if the tram wasn't there, there'd be no chance. <laughs> but I could just work it out with Workshop Road and everything like that with it and where the Porter Cabin used to be and everything like yeah, that yeah. and. Uh, yeah, God, everybody complains about Eagles officers. Try living with Gary Edvington for about two, three years with a porter cabin. 
that is going to be amazing how we put up with that. And that Porter Cabin should be in the Eagles Hall of Fame. It should be there for the Heritage Project, everything like that. But I don't know where it is now. I don't know if it's probably gone somewhere to the uh, Porter Cabins in the sky. But uh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. But um, I think your job has been out. I mean, this, the amount of things, I mean, we said it about Twitter earlier on. Within seconds of something happening on the match, it's always there on Twitter. It's always there social media-wise. I'll put anybody in rugby league against you. I'll put anybody. <laughs> I'll just say, with all the thousands that they've got at their disposal and all these people that they've got and social media managers, you do one hell of a job, mate. You yeah. really, really do. Cheers, Paul. I mean, I've, I, I enjoy it. It's good. I mean, like, still have head in hands at some point, you know, when when maybe there's a mistake that's been made or something like that. Or, but yeah, I try. I try my best to get get it out there as quick as I can. But it's just, it's not just me. Obviously, when I'm not there, Lewis is doing it, and but that sacrifices legal eye. Which has been brilliant. I think that's like a bit like the next step sort of thing for for our media content because we were we're quite quiet and sporadic on YouTube really. So it's uh, it's been good to get that going. And uh, Mark's just lend us as a camera, uh, Anigan, and yeah. yeah, and and Lewis Lewis put his hand up for it. Um, I'm sure after the Barrow game when he absolutely chucked it down, and I was <laughs> I were freezing. <laughs> Our freezing it's Dan, so those two, the, Alex and Lewis on, on the sidelines are unbelievable. Who did the uh, who did the animations for it with the screaming eagle when it starts with that SETV? Oh yeah, not me. Yeah, it's, it's that's fantastic. S- SETV ident. Yeah, that's the the the, the ident at the start. Yeah, the, I got told from Mark. Right, this is this is what we use, and I know one particular opponent to that, and that's uh, Mr. Brian Moore. He absolutely despises it, the kit, man. He, he, yeah, he's, uh, he's told me a few times we need to get rid of it. I'm like, it's beyond my power, Brian. It's beyond <laughs> my power. Uh, oh. he's, so, yeah. He's, oh, God bless Brian. God oh, bless what him. What a guy, yeah. I, yeah. I, I was telling him outside the outside the pub at Lee when we we all went for a drink afterwards, like, you know, just to, before we go heading off on the motorway. And he, he was saying that, yeah, it's it, this group of players... Like they're all having banter across different tables outside and everything, and yeah, there were um, yeah, it's just like the camaraderie and stuff. It's something that that we had when we when we were back to back champions, we in grand final, and probably bringing Brownie back's been great as well. That's been a really good, uh, really good for his attack mainly. Because I know he, he didn't particularly fancy a bit of defence, did Brownie? But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was great. He, he, he was great for us as a player. He's great for us now. He's he, another one that's been brilliant with me for interviews and stuff like that. So yeah, it's uh, it's good to have him on board as well because I know obviously we've got Jed and got Keith and everyone and the, they're all they're all great. They're all great people. So yeah. and that's that's what the Eagles is all about. Go on, I think. It's, a, it's more, I mean, from what I can see and everything that, I and mean, everything what we've seen this year, the, the togetherness of the Eagles, what's been missing for, yeah. I mean, from pandemic reasons and everything else that goes with it, was missing last season. And then all of a sudden, Toby's gone. Toby did the famous announcement that it's a toxic environment. <laughs> and we was like, whoa, whoa, hold on. Yeah, I don't know. And, like you said about the pandemic, I think it probably had a, a bit to play with it because you... <sighs> You're not around people that you're supposed no. to be around for, for every week, pretty much. So these people, but these lads yeah. might not might see the teammates more than they do with the family at times, depending yeah. on shifts and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, having a year off probably didn't help us in that respect. Although to be fair, we didn't get off to the best start in 2020 either. So, no. but I know we had a few injuries, but yeah, yeah it's uh, but yeah, but that seems like years and years. Yeah. Uh, ago, so it's it's one of those things, you know, when players when players know what they're doing next year, and we didn't really have much to fight for because we, I don't think we were ever going to go down, and we were never going to get in playoffs. So it was just a it was just a case of it petering out, and yeah, there were some some the interviews weren't weren't good at the end either because it was just me asking some of the same same questions. Yeah. It's not like we're going to get reinforcements in for for two games or however many were left yeah. in the season. But yeah, yeah. it's it, it can get toxic sometimes for for, for the squad. Uh, we've had a few to be fair since since maybe 2015. So 
I know there's a few particular players that come to mind that have that have been mentioned a few times on Eagles chat. And yeah. so yeah, it's, <laughs> but <laughs> this year they're they're all a good bunch. So yeah, fingers crossed that stays the same for a while. So. Yeah. Talking of uh, players, how how many times has anybody been begging Mr. Thackeray to stay another year? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just something that that comes naturally to us all. <laughs> that we all want him to stay. <laughs> Because he's just he's just brilliant. He's a role model. He's uh, and he's the person everyone that I think the whole squad looks up to. Because yeah, having QLT and having Fakery there, I think the average age. I know must be. I know the the age combined is about nearly in the seventies. But they're just the the brilliant. But he's still got he's, he's still got the physical ed- element, the speed and. Yeah, he's, but I, I can see where he's coming from. He wants to go out on his own terms. He don't want to get an injury or yeah. he don't want to be having a season, uh, having a bad season and just petering out. I mean, he, if he's going to go out, he's going to go out pretty much on the yeah. top and he is on the top of his game right now, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. he'll get player of the year at this rate. I think. Oh, the, 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 I, I can't see, I can't see any other outcome because he's just... when it, the, It's one of those things where you screw up, where, where you playmakers and main playmakers as well because I don't think I don't know if we have one because Isaac also does does a lot of work but when Fax doesn't play particularly well he does put us on the back foot because he is he, he has been the main man he's he is our captain as well but it, that's few and far between because he, he he's brilliant he really is so and a top man as well to to boot yeah Mrs Sheffield Eagles herself Katie P has just asked what is your thoughts on the dual reg it yeah, had to happen, good. didn't it? It yeah, had to happen because we no, were short of yeah, bodies. I think, yeah, it's it's one it's one of those things that I think we we needed really because it's yeah, there's only so many. Uh, we've not got a big squad as it is, have we? I know we've got all like Will, Will Wallace, Kadeem Williams, who've been having game time here and there. Uh, but bringing in young lads who are wanting to what wanted to make a make a move in Super League, I guess, wanted to get into the Wakefield team. Fingers crossed they don't play too well so they don't get, they don't play so so they don't get called back. But that's that's the way it is. But if it happens, it happens. We know we know what comes with Joel Reg. Yeah. But yeah, if we get a few few young lads in, mainly forwards hopefully, it's just yeah. um it'll be good to see them take the field and fingers crossed they, they do all right for us. What's been the favourite memories of the last eight years that's been away and everything favorite like that? Memories of the last eight. I, years. Oh, I mean, I know Wembley. I know yeah, Wembley. Of course, Wembley yeah. The 2015 season will always stand out, really. Uh, but when we 2017, I think we played in the Shield final. We played Batley four times that year, and we beat them once, and that were in Shield semi final. So <laughs> that's what it is. I, I think I put on Facebook yeah. as well we, that that we've won and. It, we've only only one win over Batley this year, but it's the only one that matters because it was yeah, and we went to Toulouse and I was on the I were on the internet when I got back up to Sunderland that night at about ten o'clock. I was like, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, I'm gonna find a way to get to Toulouse from Sunderland on a uh, I think we played on the Saturday yeah. or maybe on the Sunday. I can't remember which. So I got. I needed, I needed my passport first of all. So Sunderland to Sheffield on the mega bus. I uh, got like in there about nine oh, p.m. Dear so me, that, mega uh, bus. No way. Came to visit me at Meadowall and bought me my tea as well. Thank you very much. So that was great. Um, and it was Meadowall to Coventry. Uh, that got me in at twenty past one. And half two were my next coach to Stansted from Coventry. So I was there. I had an hour to to try and find somewhere to like sit. Really, I went like in the bus stop, and I'm like, oh god. So, but then I walked outside, and there's about two, three nightclubs, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna get harassed. I'm like, right, I'm going back in the bus stop, and, <laughs> and then Coventry to Stansted, uh, for, and oh my god, I was so knackered, and yeah, and then I, I don't think I slept. I think I just went. Um, Put my bag away and went into Toulouse and yeah, we went to went to the match. Ten six up at half time, thinking, oh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna actually do it. But then they took over in the second half. But yeah, it were that's that's the the journey, the journey of a lifetime, I think, because <laughs> I'll never I'll never forget that because I did it on my own as well. And honestly, I I struggle making a cup of tea at the best of times, to be honest with you. So going to Toulouse on me on me Todd, we all my mates and Megabus. <laughs> 
of all the things in this world to do on Megabus. You are, and it, well, cheap. I'm st- I was a student back then. I'm, I'm still <laughs> now, but I was a student. Yeah, I'm, I'm out getting trains, that's for sure. Oh, Not all week. I now, did it. So. I got. Yeah. I, I went from London to Preston with a friend who came from Canada, and we went up on the train because we missed the bus, and then coming back, we, we went on mega bus, and we we're coming back from Preston to London. And I'm not kidding. My friend Lance got. He's a cracker, and he got off the coach and he went, Dean, can you just promise me one thing? And I said, Sure, mate. Whatever. He goes, Don't ever, ever book mega bus again in my yeah. lifetime. I don't care how many times I come to the UK. Just don't ever put me on mega bus again. I went. I promise you, I will never do that again, mate. He's like, I know. He said, I didn't know it could get any worse than that. And I went, sorry, pal, I'll never do that to you again. He went, yeah. never. So <laughs> Megabuzz will always have a little bit of fun. Um, trying to think of a few more because obviously... Mark Webster says, best Dan Fowler moment. Scenes on toast. Scenes on toast, yeah. Of course, <laughs> it's going to live forever, I think, that one. Yeah, it's... Oh, I, I, like I said, yeah, it's like we're 20 minutes to go. I think 26 12 or something to Donny. I'm like, if we come back, it'll be scenes on toast. Uh, whoever it were that was stood with me were like, you need to put that on Twitter if we if we get there. And <laughs> I, 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 obviously, I were happy that we'd won, uh, but I'm like, well, I'm going to have to put it on now. So, oh, yeah, it was just ridiculous. I've said that a few times tonight, ridiculous. Yeah. See, yeah. but it was. Yeah. It was just unbelievable, and I had to yeah. put that moment because Alex captured it perfectly. Guzzy making the break, and then the offload to Fax, and oh. that's it, and that's it. But he got he got both pictures, so I had to put that into the uh, into the montage, the video which uh, which we made. And- yeah, talking of which. Wow, the reaction to this video. <laughs> well, it went pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. So I, it, it's something that I did want to put on the Eagles page, but like. I don't know if the cinematic orchestra have a have a legal team or anything. So, <laughs> well, normally because of my my streaming experience, normally if you put something on with music and if it's not copyrighted within five minutes, you're all right. Yeah, it's, so, it, it says on my profile that it's got some sort of partially muted thing, but yes, I don't think anything is. I don't no. think it is partially muted. So, but yeah, it's it, it's something that I I just made. I will like I want something that kind of that fans can resonate with and. Yeah, from uh, I had to put some of the tart pictures in as well, and uh, yeah, it's uh, that, I'm glad it went well because yeah, yeah I, I <laughs> didn't want it to flop really. Yeah. I do see it were, it were quite a few hours of getting all the photos together and stuff because I could have put videos in, yeah. but I was like yeah, mixing audio and stuff. I just wanted it to be just photos, and yeah, yeah. It, were, it were good and all the different yeah. places we played, your castle parks and your your fevs, and yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. It's nearly, it's nearly there. So uh, I mean, almost, almost obviously. there, almost yeah, there. It's, What's it's plans then for the good occasion? So it's going to be a rare Sunday off, isn't it? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not allowed at the battle game, so I know. Oh. But yeah, but they're playing London, so they should win. But yeah, um, but I, yeah, I don't know. I've, I don't know. I've not planned anything for the weekend, to be fair, because Amy works shifts for the yeah. as a dispatcher with the police, so is. And um, yeah, someone that she has had to speak to at some at, at some stages is Rob Ordensey because he's a policeman. So and ah. so he, but, and now he's playing, he's back playing as well. So he's, yeah, so yeah, it's um it's good to see him back as well. But yeah, um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'll just be a nervous wreck until until Monday because he's not nervous about the match itself. It's just wanting everything to go all right. And yeah, and I'm sure that's what everyone else is like. But. We've got so many different things that are going on, like you got singers and stuff, and the inflatables, and yeah, and face painting. It's usually Catholic did that for me. It's like when I was at Don Valley, so yeah. but yeah, um, I might have to pass on the face painting mine, but yeah, it's, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's going to be great. It's but it, and that's something that will build up over the weekend as well, because as much as we can go hard on it and be like, yeah, we're coming yeah. back home, it's great and everything. It's just a case of the the circumstances, really. It's like you should have to. It, there should be some tickets available, shouldn't they? Yeah. That is just that's the way. It is. I think I think it's going to be a nice picture of the people that's going to be stood on the hill because there's going to be people <laughs> stood up there. Yeah, exactly. We know this. Uh, we just we can't stop it. It's, there's people going to be there, so. Yeah, exactly. We just don't want loads of away fans to be coming. You know, when we do get the full stadium and stuff, but yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't be like that. But yeah, it's yeah, the people who come and stand on the hill, 
it's just, yeah, like I say, nothing can stop you. Like it's just, no. just one of those things. If you want to, if you want to add something to the club, I mean, all the pre-match entertainments outside, you can get you yeah. in the shop or something, or um, to get get you some merchandise, yeah. and you can you can pay what you would have to come in t- into the stadium. But yeah, yeah. It, but it's yeah, it's gonna be good. It's uh, like I said, I'm just nervous because obviously with the Eagles, something usually goes awry. But now I think that that's already been and gone. I think. That, that sort of news, so yeah. No, that video. I mean, Katie says it was a chuffing tear jerk, jerk and dance. Yeah, it was yeah. a, and I think your mum says, I he says I, I had a very worried weekend when Dan went to Toulouse, and that was from your mum. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> I can imagine. I was worried. That was, that was, <laughs> it was all the way back. It was Ryanair, so anything could have happened. So, but yeah, but anything like early resources, it'd have been. Yeah, but yeah. well, so, um, I mean, you've if you've got your plans, everything for Monday, and everyone, Lewis, and all the other guys with the media yeah, side of yeah. things. Yeah, so, um, yeah. There's some other some other stuff from a from a third party as well, which fans would look forward to. Hopefully, that's still going ahead, but I'm yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say anymore. Yeah. But yeah, there's something that uh, that that would be really interesting for for everyone to see, not just the Eagles fans, but rugby league fans as a whole in general. So. Yeah, fingers crossed that is still that is still going ahead as well, despite the limited attendance. But yeah, it's um it's gonna be great. But obviously for the heritage projects as well, I think it just everything seems to be coming together really well. The heritage project, the the wheelchair and the women's as well. No, the, the wheelchair girls. hasn't won a game, but honestly, yeah. how tough that game is mm-hmm. out and that sport to play is ridiculous. Again, ridiculous. Yeah. So it's um yeah, I can't uh, can't pay tribute to them enough because they're the representing the club, they're representing the club with pride, and they're doing it they're doing it in another country this time. They're doing it in Wales uh, this this weekend. So best of luck to them, best of luck to the women as well at Swinton. Um, yep. we'll get updates for them as well. We'll put them on Twitter, we'll put them on Facebook. And See, stuff. is he's the king of Twitter? He's the king of Twitter. Well, yeah. Nothing what about he's, it? He, he's the full women. king of Twitter. So yeah, let, let, we're talking about plans for the weekend. That's what I'll be doing. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> keeping an eye out for Butler messaging me yeah. and saying, but hopefully not getting the score wrong because I got the half-time score wrong for women in first game, so I had to delete that. <laughs> and uh, to, so we were actually winning really, winning easily. Have you well. have you ever had a tweet where you've done it and you've gone, oh, what have I done there? Oh yeah, plenty of times where I've <laughs> wrong and stuff, and yeah, and I've just had to either style it out or just, oh, but it's it's more when. Well, this year, for example, I think there were there's been two, three occasions. The Lee semi final and the Challenge Cup against North Wales. I put the wrong gifts on, like the home and away. So I'm like, oh my god, idiot! What? It's like I don't know what I'm watching. Like I've seen Martin Blue and I'm putting red videos on it. It's just yeah. yeah I think Crusaders yeah. got to take some credit because the, the, everybody was saying, oh yeah, we should have really took in the town. But they're unbeaten at the moment. So yeah, I think the only team yeah, exactly. beaten this year is us. I know Bailey got sent off as well for something that wasn't a red card, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, uh, they're, they're doing well. Keithley, I mean, there's going to be some teams that are spending a bit of money that are not going to go up, which is, but obviously not as much as Liam Fev. But still, it's, mm. I think with this IMG coming in and, you know, and Rugby League becoming as one again and the Super League not really being a separate entity. It's going to be um. It, there's there's going to be some changes made, I assume, uh, because the, it did say in the statement about potential restructure and IMG having a bit of a say in that. So I don't know if it'll be more based on big cities and stuff. I know it's happened before with Toronto and stuff, but as long as we keep going, we keep yeah. putting his name in the hat and uh, and having the new stadium ready, uh, hopefully ready with a full capacity as well at some point. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully be in the discussion for any sort of research. Yeah, well, I always said this about our new stadium. We've had ours demolished, completely had to play for the last nine years, here, there, everywhere. And Castleford announced their stadium, I don't know how long ago. I think it was a noise. And they're still waiting. And they still just yeah, announced another it's... redevelopment and everything. And Wakefield and all these other places that said, we're going to get new stadiums and everything. And I'm like, this is the only one that's been built like, properly. In this time scale, about the yeah, other say, well, York, league. York's another one that's in there. The York of uh, York of yeah. is pretty well as well, but I think that helps with having a football team there as well. So there's like double interest. So yeah. it's that is, but yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, obviously, Wake Waking Castle, 
people will be thinking they're putting statements out for statement's sake, but the people that are there they must be as frustrated as what Tubbs and Mark and Tasha have been this week. It's yeah. As much as we have got a stadium and we're not being able to maximise that potential straight away, yeah. which is you only get one first game back and it's, it's just... Yeah. A, but maybe we'll try and figure something out for when we've got a full stadium, when we, yeah. we can have the full stadium. Yeah. And that'll think, be the uh, first, first game back. Yeah. Do you think uh, Castleford waited till Devil went from their club before they announced a new stadium? <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden he's left, and all of a sudden, hey, we've got a new new plan for the stadium. <laughs> I bet well, Devil's like. He's not been having the best time of it at Wire either, but they played really. It's in well Lancashire. Night. It's in Lancashire. It's simple as that. He should have never gone to Lancashire. Well, should have never really gone. Well, last night, so fingers crossed they're gonna. Yeah. They're gonna I saw him bash the cause... table. Did you see him bash the table in first half? Yeah. I think it was the first, and he was, and I went. That's the devil I know. Go on, son. <laughs> Go on, son. Let's see. You can't yeah. knock his passion. You really can't. He's no, never changed. Not. I remember seeing him giving an argument to all the players that are playing at Leeds. And I think it was the first year in first division. And we got back now. I think we were down 40 or two. And he looked at all the main players like Gary Van Bell and all the old guys. And he goes, we've just let them come down 80 yards down that side of the pitch. Either do something or get off the... And he lost it completely. And I'm like, it must have been about 23, 24. And he's giving these lads that like in the thirties a right rollicking. I'm like, yeah. love that guy. <laughs> Loved him. Loved him forever for it. Yeah. Um, but so uh, I'll let you disappear, mate. I'll let you have a nice Friday night to yourself. And then I'll <laughs> well, more well, than yeah, likely. I've enjoyed it. It's been good. It's been, so it's I've been loved good. every minute. It's the, good the, the, I think the video itself will live in memory for every single Eagles fan that's ever been. <laughs> One yeah, complaint. No. Where was the picture of Andrew Senior giving it Bill Arthur on the telly when he was like, <laughs> when it was on that? Oh, yeah, I think that's on his Facebook. <laughs> I could have got it. I got it. But I don't know if that were pre 2013, though. So I think that, that oh, might just that, that, that would have be been a lesson. But he got plenty of airtime, did Senior, and obviously Richard as well, Richard Anderson. Yeah. And, and he, yeah. It's uh, going to be nice yeah. on, I mean, it's going to be nice on Monday when they said they were going to remember all the fans that, and all the, yeah, all the officials that's in, no longer here. Yeah, an in-memory section. I don't know if they're doing a, a minute silence or something, but yeah. we've got an in-memory section on the yeah. uh, on in, in the programme. But obviously, I know, like, Tony, who's, uh, yeah, the gra- granddad of Alex and Lewis, he were, always got programmes yeah. off him, always said hello, a really nice man. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty in there. You could go on forever. I mean, John, that's bought, we're on the... We're on the video with the with the tarts. He were he, he were massive following them, mm. following them everywhere here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, so there's there's loads there's loads that you could go through, and yeah, it's good it's good that they're going to get mentioned in the program because yeah, yeah as, as sad as it is that they're not going to be allowed to see it, they'll be there in spirit. I think yeah. Tom's mentioned that in the uh, in, in his program notes. So yeah, it's um. It's going to be a tough one. It's going to be an emotional one. So, yeah, and it's also good that Bozzy, Ollie Davis, Aaron Brown get to enjoy it as well. So, and um, yeah, and Beans mentions that in his program piece as well. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Right. Well, thank you very, very much, mate, for this. Yeah, it's not been a an problem absolute at all, pleasure. Uh, uh, and I will see you on Monday. Monday. Yeah, see you on Monday, pal. All you right. take, take care. Bye bye, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was uh, the last of the weeks of uh, big, big things we've been talking about all this week. We've been talking about everything that's happened. I promise you I'll never do another week of Eagles chat because of all the things that's happened while we've been doing this. It's just been one thing after another. I promise you, I swear, I will never do this again. I will never do a <laughs> on Monday to Friday of Eagles thing. Um, it's, it's, this is the last time I'm going to speak before I actually see you guys on Monday. Um I'm filling up now. This has been the hardest thing that I've ever known any sports club go through. The hours, the miles, the venues, the people, the setbacks that's been told that we can't do this, been told that we can't have the stadium, been told that this OLP is not good enough, been told everything about it. I mean, we've been blasted from Pulitzer Post in every shape, form and anything that we shouldn't be in the rugby league, that we shouldn't be I mean, even having a professional team. We've got no fans. We don't contribute everything. Everybody's had a go at us. Everybody. Everybody concerned with rugby league said, oh, Sheffield Eagles shouldn't be here. On Monday, they, but this flag will fly in the home of Sheffield Eagles. And I mean home. I don't know. I know there's only going to be 800 people there. But for the first time in a long, long time, we've got a stadium. We've got fans and we've got a home.
Uh, sorry. This club means everything to me. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, my glasses are steaming up. There's, is there some onions in here? Is there some onions around here somewhere? Um, I'll let you guys finish. I'll let you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have a great time, whatever you're doing. I will see you on Monday at the Olympic Legacy Park. Come and say hi, do whatever you want to do. I'm not bothered. I'll have, I'll have a laugh, have a joke with old people. Um, I still don't know what shirt I'm going to wear, but it won't be this one. I promise you it won't be this one. I'm not wearing this one. It might, you know, it's looking like it's going to be the Super Joel. I'll have to wear Super Joel one. But uh, anyway, but take care, guys. Love to everybody. Thank you for the wonderful support you've shown. Everything. It's been a wonderful week. I've enjoyed everything. Thank you to Mark. Thank you to, thank you to Mark Aston, Mark Webster, that's been on my love partner in crime. Thanks to Zach, he came on as well. Thanks to Katie. Thanks to Richard. Richard as well that came on. And Mark Hannigan and everybody else that's popped in on this thing over the last five days. It's been a week of wonderful days. It's been a hard day. It's been the worst, some of the worst decisions, worst announcements we've ever heard. Well, we've done it before. We'll do it again. And I'll see you guys on Monday evening. Good night. God bless. Good luck. Have a great time this weekend. And I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.